What's up guys? So today I have something different than the usual circuits and stuff. Uh, I was gifted a Fitrist or uh, a Fitbit as you call it and it was made by Intex and turns out that it would not charge. Now it would be rude to ask for a return so uh, well if it won't charge so I took the charge to open it up and uh, well I did succeed. And believe me that uh, the process of opening it up is not at all satisfying. With much force and shredding, I was able to get the brains of the fittest out. And in that process, I d damaged the OLED screen as well. So that's kind of sad. <laughs> the battery is complete gone. Now. Oh. As you can see over here, it's so... Uh, So it's a 50mAh battery, 3.7 volts, and it charged to something like 0.17 volts overnight even when I had like bypassed the battery protection circuit, so sad for the battery. The board has a chip called CC2540, which is a BLE 4.0 chip, and it's manufactured by Texas Instrument. So. Yeah, here's the board. Now, this is what I got inside the fitrest. So, here's where the panel was supposed to be connected the OLED panel, the button for different operations, uh, a motor for vibration for notification and stuff. And I don't know if you can see T2540, F256TI62J. I don't know what all those means, but. I just googled up uh, CC2540 and I was greeted with a search that said uh, it's a PLE chip by TI and best thing is that uh, the development tool chain for uh, this chip is open which means that I can develop for this platform. Now I did do some research and found two interesting alternatives. First one was to flash HM ton firmware on this chip and it'll allow me to communicate with this chip through a microcontroller or something using your AT commands. And the other option was to code it directly and make it into a standalone system. So um, I won't need an additional microcontroller to communicate over Bluetooth. Now the second option is more lucrative since it allows me to make small projects without using bulky microcontroller boards. Uh, like this has a form factor smaller than Arduino Mini, way smaller. And this makes it kind of uh, very good for portable applications. Also it's uh, low energy so I can power it off battery which I think wouldn't last long if I put another microcontroller to use this. Uh, so to program it although we'll need a bunch of softwares and hardware to get started. But first we'll get some wires out of the board so we can actually program it. Luckily on the board we've got some test points. As you can see over here they are marked T1, T3, T4 etc. So we'll tap off some signals and tap these OLED connectors as well. So in this video I'll just solder this module, this board into a good module so you can actually program it. So let's get started. So I'll be using some thin solder wire although it's not thin but uh, this is some thin insulated wire, insulated copper wire but you know, it's, it's not uh, thin to the point where it can break off easily but it's it's still convenient. It will do the job. I think so. I hope so. And we'll be using a fine tip solder rod. Although it's not the greatest of solder rod. In fact, it's one of the cheapest that you can find on eBay or something. But that's how I am. Really cheap. Let's get soldering. And yeah, uh, just wanted to tell you like if someone was interested. This is the broken LCD that I, uh, that I got.
got out of the fit rest. I don't know if any of these numbers would help, but if you are interested, you can just uh, if you find the screen, I mean, you can just leave a comment on where I can get get this because I'd be really interested in repairing it if if I can. QT one three one six P zero one eight G. I don't really see what's after that. But oh well. Okay, let's uh, get to soldering now. Uh, so to make the solder, uh, to solder the pads, what I've done is I took this uh, wire and I basically make made a five-way round trip and then uh, folded it twice to get uh, 20 wires like each of this strand will have 20 uh, sorry the entire thing will have 20 strands of wire because i counted uh, this patch that i'll have to solder and the connector for the lcd screen led oled screen and they total up to 20 so i wanted 20 wires so that's kind of convenient and because they'll be uniform it'll be easy to solder and uh, connect it to, to the board and stuff so i'll uh, I don't know, maybe use my nail cutter or something. So, let me just cut everything from here. And the same way from the other side. Oops. And I have 20 strands of wire now. Nice. So now I'll burn up the insulation at the ends and we'll start soldering. So finally I managed to solder up everything. I tried to uh, record everything in time lapse but uh, it's kind of annoying to solder through a camera and I just don't know. It's really, <laughs> you see the spacing between the pads of the OLED connector. Uh, it's so small that getting to, getting the wires there without soldering adjacent pads is kind of very difficult so yeah somehow i managed now i'll put it on to uh, i don't know another perf board or something with headers so that i can plug this into a breadboard and uh, fire it up so after much soldering i was finally able to solder up everything all the wires the positive and ground rails Let's see so I got my breadboard over here and I'm digging power of uh, micro USB this is an adapter that I this is an adapter that I built so I'll just plug it in okay we at least have it in the breadboard now just wire it up ground to the ground positive to the positive and plug in the adapter oh oh it's it's working i don't know if you can hear it in the camera i really doubt but on turning on the uh, vibration the motor kind of vibrates and 
and you can't really see that but i just uh, put it close to the board so you can maybe hear it so here we go again so okay i'm not sure if you caught that but it's working so maybe we can start off with uh, downloading the tool chain and i don't know uh, we'll have to look up on how to flash code on this chip uh, and like most of the time i think there will be an arduino port for uh, the programmer of this chip i hope it's there because i'm not going to invest much into programmer if it's costly so yeah that's all for now guys uh, and yeah have a nice one peace